So what are some math variables and expressions and what do you do with them? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years and we often use math variables and expressions to try to figure out what the unknowns are as well as what it is that we're trying to solve for. So when it comes to variables, it often is intimidating, but uh, what variables are, you're actually just trying to figure out what the missing numbers happen to be. Now, here's a couple of examples. Now, oftentimes, when it comes to math, you see x and y. Now, x and y, even though they look intimidating, they're actually just numbers oftentimes because when you want to solve for x or you want to solve for y, you oftentimes want to figure out what numbers x and y will take the place of. Now, the more variables that you have, the more unknowns that you will get. Now, oftentimes x and y are the most popularly used, but once in a while you're also going to see z as well as the letters w. But again, those aren't the only letters. Oftentimes l is used to express length, w used to express width, etc. Now, if you see something of the form x squared plus y squared w, there's actually just three unknowns, the x, the y, and the w. It's just that the x you're raising to the second power and the y is raising it to the second power and oftentimes the variables are separated by the operations. But basically, all you have to think about when it comes to variables is that they express things that you're trying to find and they're part of an overall mathematical expression. So, I'm Jimmy Chang and there's an introduction to variables and expressions.